Hello my lovelies. It is almost dinner time and the kids are hungry and I am in a bit of a rush. So today I'm going to make something simple and I'm determined to use one pot and one pot only. So my plan is to make paella, not the traditional type because I am going to use quinoa instead of rice because I'm such a rebel. So let's have a quick look at the ingredients. I have a beautiful zucchini here, a small fennel, some garlic, a red bell pepper, a chili pepper, some Italian tomatoes, a red onion, paprika, smoked paprika. I have some bay leaves, a cup of frozen peas, a bunch of fresh flat leaf parsley, very important, some saffron. I have Kalamata olives here, some quinoa, about uh, 150 grams, half a liter of vegetable stock, olive oil, some artichokes in oil, you can have them in brine as well, and some salt and lemon. Ideally, you would add a splash of white wine or dry sherry, but I don't do that when I'm cooking for kids. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up my veggies. I start with the onions, then I want my beautiful fennel in small strips, and uh, the red bell pepper as well and I will chop up my zucchini in small cubes and also very important I'm going to rinse this quinoa I don't own a paella pan, so my skillet will do just fine. Heat on. Some olive oil. First thing, I'm adding my onions. And give them a little time to soften up. Beautiful. Then fennel and zucchini can get in as well in the meantime I'll slice up the bell pepper you can do cubes but I like longer strips these beauties are starting to get some color on them I'm adding the bell pepper. Two cloves of garlic. Smoked paprika going in. Quick stir. Now would be the moment to add some wine or sherry. I'm adding my quinoa. And now cover it up with half a liter of vegetable stock. And the absolute star of this dish, I will add a generous pinch of saffron. This will give it that distinct flavor. Now 
a very last gentle stir. After this, I'm not going to touch it. Make sure that your vegetable stock is hot before you add it to your quinoa. And now, finally, I'm adding two lovely bay leaves. Don't forget to season your paella. So a generous pinch of salt, like that. Heat on medium low. And this will need some time, at least 10 minutes. And as tempting as it is, do not put on the lid and do not stir. I have some time left, so I'm going to cut up my tomatoes and the parsley so they will be ready for whenever I need them. Quinoa has absorbed about half of the water. I am going to add my frozen peas on top. The tomatoes as well. And a handful of Kalamata olives. These are pitted. Now I will tear up some of these beautiful artichoke hearts in some chunks. At this point, most of the liquid is absorbed by the quinoa. So I'm going to add some parsley on top, then turn off the heat. And now I can put on the lid and I will leave it on for about 10 minutes so the rest of the liquid can get absorbed by the quinoa. And the great thing about paella is that you can just serve it in this pan. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? Some lemon wedges. There we go. A little bit of red chili pepper for the grown-ups. A sneaky little taste. This is delicious and let's be honest, what else do we need in life except for good company and a little bit of sunshine of course. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you try this and let me know in the comments what you think of it and I really, really, really hope to see you in my next video.